I've decided to further my education, play basketball next year. Weaver State University. Yeah. Yeah. Five months ago, we sat down in, in Coach Herring's office. You didn't have any Division One offers, and, and you were, you know, kind of knew that this was the year. How, how does it feel now, five months later? Does it seem like a lifetime ago? Yeah, it's great. I mean, I feel relieved, and I knew everything was just gonna fall into place, and I just had to wait on it and work my butt off and. I knew, I knew it happened. When did Weber State come in? When did they start recruiting you? When did the offer come through? Uh, a couple weeks ago, they started recruiting me and coached in them film and stuff like that. And everything just happened so fast. And went down for the visit, and I just, I just loved it. I fell in love with it. You grew up here. You know, you you probably born here. You're headed out to to Utah. It's quite a ways away. What do you think about moving so far away from home? Um, I feel like it'll help me stay focused. I know. Uh, <laughs> My mom really doesn't want me to move that far, but she knows it'll be good for me, so. Thank you. Uh, it's awesome, man. It just goes to show how good God is. Uh, like you said, mid-season, you know, nothing was on the door, knocking on the door, on the table, but, um, you know, we just stayed the course. Derek stayed the course and, and just did what he needed to do, and uh, God is good. It came through. Uh, what do you think about sending, a, sending one of your kids? You know, you're, a, you're obviously a Wichita guy, too. You're sending one of your kids who is like family to you all the way to, to the West Coast or, or to Utah at least. What's what's that going to be like? You have a lot of late nights watching games, huh? Oh, a lot of late nights, you know, <laughs> and uh, a lot of a lot of contacts too. But, um, you know, uh, it's just like they say, you know, all these kids want. You know, they want those big-time schools, you know. And I think at the end of the day, you know, I, I think Jared got what he needed, you know, to get to where he's trying to go. And like I said, with that, you know, God provided him what he needed, and I think he's going to do real well.